Well, you know what goes well with cookies. Wilkins Coffee. I should. Do you drink Wilkins Coffee? No. Ooh. Speaking of classic commercials, Muppet creator Jim Henson got his start doing ads back in the 50s. Yes, before they were selling high-end products like... Crumpets. This is how the Muppets got their start. Merry Christmas! It's a joy to serve Wilkins Coffee to so many people at Christmas! Though several products were advertised, his biggest hit was with Wilkins Coffee. Why? Because he only had eight seconds per ad. Which meant he not only had to get to the point quick, he had to get to the needless violence even quicker. Care for a cup of Wilkins Coffee? No, I don't like coffee. This has been a public service. It always starts with a character named, get this, Wilkins, who loves Wilkins coffee and always tries to persuade his buddy, Wompkins, to try some. And when I say persuade, I mean horrifically mutilate. We're here to persuade people to drink more Wilkins coffee. What's the club for? Do you have any Wilkins coffee in your house? No. I see you don't drink Wilkins instant coffee. What about my future? You don't have a future. Why are we climbing this tree? For Wilkins coffee. I don't want any. It's autumn and the nuts are beginning to fall. The funny thing is, Henson used to say he had reservations about working on the Ninja Turtles movies, because he thought they were too violent. But Muppet Saw here was perfectly fine for some reason. You can't persuade me to drink Wilkins instant coffee. Oh, okay. Just a stab in the dark. I honestly love how violent these are because they happen so quickly and with no remorse. In fact, Wilkins might be one of the most sadistic maniacs in television history. And I'm including Homelander. I've got five aces, can you beat that? I've got a can of Wilkins coffee. He didn't even need to shoot him there. Coffee was never brought into the conversation. What the bejesus is wrong with you? Want some Wilkins coffee with your strawberry shortcake? Can't say that I do. You can't say that you don't either. Yeah, hitting him with cake's not enough. You gotta pour scorching hot liquid on him too. He's not even reacting. He's so numb to the constant pain he's in. This machine will make you want a cup of Wilkins coffee. Not me. Oh. <laughs> This one, they couldn't even show it was so horrific. On guard, salute Wilkins Coffee. But I don't drink Wilkins Coffee. Some learn, some don't. He goddamn gutted him. He is wiping the blood and stuffing off his sword, and he has no penitence. If you don't start drinking Wilkins Coffee, I'll make you into tuba fours. It's a mix of the glee he has in creatively skewering his best friend and the absolute dead eyes he shoots every time he does it. Any last request, like for a cup of Wilkins Coffee? No. How shocking. These are the eyes of a psychopath. With great timing, puppetry, and of course, a sadistic sense of humor, these coffee commercials were the best, even if you never drank Wilkins. You either go with Wilkins or you just don't go. Hello? Care for a cup of Wilkins coffee? Well, no, I didn't even know it was a coffee you could still get. Things just seem to happen to people who don't drink Wilkins. Um, you wouldn't know anything about ten tons of dynamite at my place, would you? E no. Because I tried opening my door, which is locked from the other side. Oh, that's not good. And then I tried calling 911, but someone's messing with my signal. Then how'd you call me? Well, there was a message written in, I think, Fraggle Blood that said, give you a call. Well, that would mean whoever set up the dynamite is listening to her call. You getting on the Wilkins Coffee bandwagon? You either go with Wilkins or you just don't go. Oh my god, are you still on this? You know, people who don't drink Wilkins Coffee just blow up sometimes. You are a sick man, mister! For God's sakes, critic, just buy some Wilkins Coffee! Don't worry, Tamara. I'm not afraid to put your life in danger for this. I am totally worrying because of all that stuff you just said. Any last request, like for a cup of Wilkins Coffee? Hey, I know you're crazy, but you're not nuts. So go ahead. Blow up Tamara. You don't have the... Okay, scheduling a recast. Damn you, crazy! You crazy, loony, insane madman! You're doing all of this just for Wilkins Coffee? If you don't drink Wilkins Coffee, you're not all there. You're not gonna get away with this. I will not rest until you're an Ottoman! I'm gonna sick the most skilled, psychotic, badass killer the world has ever known on you. Damn it, Gogeta! Hello? I need you to hunt a Muppet. Okay. Well, that maniac's behind me. Hello? Okay, I figured out where the call is coming from. It's coming from inside... Wait. 
My house? Oh good, I don't have anything to worry about. Okay, Malcolm, you did good. Just hit me up if there's anything else I need to know about. It. I get it. Talk to you later. He's got a text message. Where are your cats? Oh, they're over there smoking. I Chaplin? Buster? Chaplin? Buster? Chaplin? Buster? Oh, oh. Speak to me, boy! Where are my cats? Wilkins Coffee is on the ball. Either get on the ball with Wilkins or get out of the way. Where are my cats, you foam sock? Salute Wilkins Coffee. <sighs> All right, you hairless Elmo. I'll try your damn coffee. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now where's my cats? Oh. You just put them in my room. It's not too bad. You know, I'm not gonna lie, this seemed a little excessive. I mean, you go to all this effort, you blow up my friends. Rude. And for what? Just to have people try Wilkins coffee. What is so important about everybody trying Wilkins coffee? You know, a house isn't a home without Wilkins coffee. Let's leave it to the hand of fate. If you don't drink Wilkins coffee, you're not all there. In fact, without Wilkins coffee, you're nowhere. It always was a bad sport. Some were and some don't. Okay, so we know times change, we're a flawed animal, we're trying to get better as we evolve, but good hot instant Jesus, these Folger ads from the 60s or something else. The setup is always the same. The husband in a marriage doesn't like his wife's coffee, so she quickly buys Folgers in order to please him. Maybe you think that sounds shitty. It is, but just listen to the delicate way these husbands let them know. You make me feel very unwifely, McNaughton. Go barbecue. I still say don't serve your awful coffee with my steaks. Jesus, guy! Also, who the hell serves coffee at a barbecue? Oh, that's one of the nicer ones. Take a listen to some of these others. How can such a pretty wife make such bad coffee? I really should have kept the receipt for her. I heard that. Uh, good! It's our anniversary. Why so glum? Well... It's your coffee. Again? Honey, your coffee just doesn't taste any good. Oh, this guy's a sensitive asshole. Look at him holding her hand. As if to say, it's not your fault your breasts hog all the fat from your brain. Did you ever see Larry looking so happy? Oh, well, honey, happiness is a vacation. <laughs> Away from your coffee. Was there a bad coffee epidemic back then? Polio, we'll get past it. Influenza, we've gotten through worse. Bad coffee locked down until a divorce lawyer is safely escorted to every home! Is the coffee all right? Mm-mm. You mean it's as bad as yesterday? Mm-mm. No improvement at all? Mm-mm. So you're not gonna stop having affairs with our next-door neighbor, Joe? Mm-mm. Clearly coffee's the problem in this relationship, isn't it? Mm-mm. Ooh, what does Colonel Sanders Pringles Roosevelt have to say about this? Attention, ladies, I've set out a brand new, can't-miss, husband-pleasing coffee. Each one comes with a free mistress, guaranteed to look more attractive than you. It's my Jim again. You should have heard him this morning. Mary, your coffee is as undrinkable as ever. Oh, and Jim's usually so nice. Sounds like a goddamn sweetheart. You get the point. This neighborhood doesn't have a coffee problem as much as an entitled dickhole problem. I love this one dude who can barely look her in the face after she has the nerve to say he's kind of acting like a prick. Honey, your coffee's undrinkable. It's pretty harsh. Well, so's your coffee. You know, the girls down at the office make better coffee on their hot plates. Well, see you later. This just in, millions of husbands impaled on their coffee makers. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. Go down on you? Try to do something about your coffee. Oh, they got it figured out. This guy rejects his wife's morning kindness, throws it on her garden, and then has the 
balls to point and yell at her like she's the one being difficult. Oh, this coffee is criminal. Honey, you killed the petunias. Then you admit it. Your coffee really is murder. I can see why this one's called Papa Eddie Solves a Crime. Papa Eddie's trying to figure out who cut off Papa Eddie's finger and shoved it into Papa Eddie's poop hole. My coffee, it's murder. Like I said, though, the answer is always Folger's coffee, because it's mountain grown. It's mountain grown. Mountain grown? Mountain grown for richer flavor. Yeah, do the symbol. No woman's smart enough to know what a mountain is. You know, it's a crime not to have delicious coffee like this all the time. We will, now that I've discovered the mountains. You mean you got the boob job? <laughs> I'll give you no repercussions for that. No, you won't. These ads are terrible. Like, I know they're the 60s, but even the 60s is looking at this thing. hey, I don't know that Folger's ass all over there. And here's the thing, we don't have any PSAs to review this year. We couldn't really find any good ones, and we're also afraid YouTube's faulty age restriction might muck things up. But let's be honest, there's an unintentional PSA in here. You just gotta look close. Yuck, honey. Yes, dear? I finally let you out of the storage closet, and this is the coffee you make me? Well, that's a little harsh. So is the coffee. It's murder. I know. I put arsenic in it. Another escape attempt? Well, I would like to know what the sun looks like. I'm sorry, honey, but this just won't do. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Would you get that? Get what? That would be the door. Yes? Oh my god! Not you! Salute Wilkins Coffee! Forever, my love! <laughs> I think that's a message we all can get behind.